Methenamine, also known as Hiprex, is used to prevent or control recurring urinary tract infections caused by certain bacteria. It does not treat active infections, so antibiotics must be used first to cure the infection. Hiprex works by stopping the growth of bacteria in the urine and also helps to make the urine acidic. When the urine is acidic, Hiprex turns into formaldehyde to kill the bacteria. This medication is only effective against bacterial infections in the urinary tract and will not work for other types of bacterial infections or viral infections. It is important to use this drug only as directed to prevent decreased effectiveness. The typical daily dosage is 1 gram twice a day, and it is best to take it with meals or a snack to reduce stomach upset. It is important to drink plenty of fluids while taking Hiprex to help prevent kidney stones. Be sure to take the full prescribed amount, even if you start to feel better, to ensure the infection is fully treated. When taking Hiprex, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions on dosage. The amount you take will depend on the specific brand of medication you're prescribed, as well as your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. For children, the dosage is based on their age and weight. In order for methenamine to work effectively, it's best if your urine is more acidic. Your doctor may test the acidity of your urine and may recommend ways to increase acidity, such as taking vitamin C or drinking cranberry juice. It's also important to limit foods that decrease acidity or increase alkalinity, such as milk products and most fruits. Your doctor may also adjust any alkalinizing medications you're taking. To get the best results from Hiprex, try to take it at the same times every day. This will help you remember to take it consistently. If you experience symptoms of a urinary tract infection, such as burning, painful, or frequent urination, be sure to inform your doctor. Side effects of Hiprex may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and loss of appetite. If these effects persist or worsen, inform your doctor or pharmacist. Painful or difficult urination may occur with methenamine, although less often. Report these side effects to your doctor, who may need to adjust your dose or change your treatment. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed because the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. Taking higher than recommended doses of methenamine may cause bladder irritation, painful or frequent urination, and bloody or pink urine. Inform your doctor immediately if you experience any of these symptoms. Contact your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects, such as mouth sores, unusual headache, ringing in the ears, muscle cramps, or swelling of the arms or legs. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare. However, seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice other effects not listed above, contact your doctor or pharmacist. In the US, call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before starting Hiprex, make sure to inform your healthcare provider if you have any allergies to methenamine, formaldehyde, or any other substances. Also, discuss your medical history, including kidney problems, liver problems, or dehydration with your doctor or pharmacist. If you are pregnant, only use this medication if it is clearly needed, and consult with your doctor about the risks and benefits. It is also important to talk to your doctor if you are breastfeeding, as it is not known how this drug may affect a nursing infant. Additionally, before undergoing any surgical procedures, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using. When taking Hiprex, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription, non-prescription, and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Hiprex include sulfa antibiotics and products that decrease the amount of acid in the urine. 
it's important to let your doctor know if you are taking any of these medications. Additionally, hip recs may interfere with certain lab tests, so it's important to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are using this medication. When taking hip recs, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully and take the medication as prescribed. It's also important to stay hydrated while taking hip recs to ensure that the medication is effective. Be sure to discuss with your doctor the best time to take this medication and the appropriate dosage for your specific condition. If someone has taken too much hip recs and is experiencing severe symptoms like loss of consciousness or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. It's important not to share this medication with others. While taking hip recs, you may need to have lab and or medical tests, such as urine tests and liver function tests. Make sure to keep all medical and lab appointments. This medication has been prescribed for your current condition only, so do not use it later for another infection unless your doctor tells you to. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take the next dose at the usual time. Don't take extra to make up for the missed dose. It is important to store hip recs at room temperature, away from light and moisture, and not in the bathroom. Keep all medications out of the reach of children and pets. Do not flush hip recs down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Make sure to properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed, and consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.